my T fam, it's your girl Naya0302 and I wanted to come to you really quickly and show you a couple of things that I picked up from my local drugstore and my local Ulta and I also wanted to come on and do a thank you video to my girl BN Before Dark. Um, BN Before Dark sent me some love mail about two, almost three weeks ago and I did respond to her in her inbox and thank her but um, I just haven't had the energy to come on and do a video. Um, but before I get started, I want to welcome all my old and my new subscribers. I want to thank you guys for showing my channel all the support that you do, taking the time out to come and watch my videos. I hope each and every one of you are well and that your families are all doing well. As for me, I have been kind of MIA. Um, I am going through this severe bout of insomnia. They've been trying me on a lot of different medications and I'm just not sleeping. And during the week, I rarely get any sleep. And then the weekend comes in, my body completely crashes out. So I've kind of started a regime of vitamins and other things to try to get my system back to oomph and it's just draining um, that I'm not sleeping and so I'm just very exhausted most of the time so that's why I really haven't been on doing videos and the fatigue has had me so out of it I don't even really have the urge to even go out and go shopping but I had to go out of the house uh, this weekend and so I stopped and picked up a couple of things all right so being before dark had did a video and um, she was showing some black radiance um, eyeshadow quads and so she was so sweet and kind to send me some and they came in this cute little acrylic uh, box right here and I say she had these things super taped up not one of them broke this is her infamous piece tape that she uses on most of her packages so if you get a package with this kind of tape on it best to believe it's from being before dark so I'm gonna quickly run through um, the ones that she sent me um, this very first one is called prismatic pearls and the black radiance quads have these little mirrors on the back of them so here is prismatic pearls and then this is what it looks like on the inside and as you can see I've kind of been swatching a couple of them so I will swatch a couple of colors so you can see the pigmentation so that is the pigmentation on this first palette and I will put that one right there so that is Prismatic Pearls. This next one that she sent me is called Retro Chick. And Retro Chick has all these pretty blues in there. And I will swatch that one. So there are all those colors. We'll put that one right there. So that is a retro chick. The next one that she sent me is called um, Smoke Signals. And Smoke Signals are your pretty grays and charcoals and black. And for the sake of the video, I probably won't swatch all of them. Um, the next one that she sent me is called Desert Clay. And Desert Clay looks like this. The next one that she sent me is called um, The Neutral Zone. And this one has a beautiful uh, sage colored green, uh, this uh, taupe color, uh, a bronzy color, and then a cream color. And that is that top color there. Really, really gorgeous. And there is it swatched on my arm. 
the next one that she sent me is called uh, Forest Sands. And this one has all your greens in it. And the very last one that she sent me is called um, Perfect Tone. And Perfect Tone is like your different shades of browns and a taupe color right there. So being before dark, thank you very, very much for these, sweetheart. Once again, um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video up and out to you. Um, but I definitely appreciate it because um, none of these were in any of my local stores. Um, I actually went into Walgreens on Saturday and they had two. And the two that they had was called um, Moroccan Mix and Moroccan Mix looks like this really pretty copper and a beautiful teal right here give you a quick swatch of those two so get those colors really really gorgeous put those right there and then the other one that I found in there was called um, Vivid Imagination. And Vivid Imagination looks like this. Bright hot pink with sh shimmer, a black with shimmer, a blue with shimmer, and then a yellow one with shimmer. So these were the only two that I was able to find in my store. But I have the other ones, so I am definitely looking forward to playing with these uh, shadows from Black Radiance. Also, while I was in Walgreens, you guys know that Milani has brought out her new 2012 line. And so I was able to pick up two of her new baked dye shadows. And this one is called Must Have Fuchsia. And it's a really pretty fuchsia color. And it looks like this. And I will give you a swatch of that one. So there is the fuchsia. And there it is swatched out on my hand. The next one that I picked up in the 2012 line is called uh, Copper Excess. And Copper Excess is really, really gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Really vibrant color. And there's it swatched on my finger. And there it is swatched out on my hand. Also, while I was in there, um, I don't remember seeing this one when the original Baked Eye Shadows came out, but I knew I didn't have this one in my collection, and this one is called Fusion. And Fusion looks like this. Get it open. Okay, this one's going to be... A pain in the butt right now. It doesn't want to open. Okay, well, can't get it open right now, but it's like this uh, brown with the gold um, streaks through it. So I bet this one will be really, really pretty. So that is Fusion. Sorry, I couldn't get it open. And then I picked up two of her illuminating face powders. And the first one that I got is called Hermosa Rose. And it looks like this. Really, really gorgeous. Um, when you swirl these together, it looks like this on the finger. It will be a great highlight. And that is it swatched up on my hand. It's really, really pretty. And then the next one that I got is called Amber Nectar. And Amber Nectar looks like this. Sw 
swirl together get kind of like a peachy color and there it is swatched out on my hand so those were the things that I picked up from Milani and then the last thing is I stopped in my local Ulta I was trying to pick up some stuff to put in a box and I um, picked up one of the Too Faced Natural at Night palettes and this palette was $36 in Ulta and uh, it looks like this and on the inside you have all these uh, beautiful colors here I'm probably not going to swatch this one um, before I check um, my stash over here to make sure that I don't have um, colors that are pretty much similar to this because if I do then I will probably be taking it back but from initial glance it's really really gorgeous especially this color right here so um, that is the Natural at Night palette it also came with a sample of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, primer in it and then the last thing that I picked up from Ulta was I picked up another one of the Anastasia Bro um, Pow Brow Powder Duos and mine's is in Ebony I really really love this stuff um, I said I wasn't gonna spend another twenty dollars to get it but after having the first one I really wanted a backup so I went on ahead and got a second one alright guys that is everything that I got I didn't go ballistic um, like I said I've kinda just been uh, being a little more conscious on what I'm buying and how often I'm buying um, because you can have all the makeup in the world and you'll never get to all of it so I've been kind of pacing myself and being a little mindful of my spending on makeup besides IMATS is vastly approaching in New York that's coming up in April and I want to go to IMATS in Pasadena in June so I'm being a little bit more conservative right now alright guys take care and I'll talk to you later bye